Hello, internet friends. Let's talk about what would be in one of our corset mystery bags in a level two underbust. So let's get right to it. Here's how I look in normal real life. Hopefully my pants aren't unzipped. That would be the worst. And here's how I look in my pretend corset life. So, woo, last week was a whirlwind. I have been doing this for 17 years. I started it very small. My very first show, I maybe sold to 20 people. And I've been like writing little blogs and doing my own little thing for years and years and years, 17 years. And just barely, finally, I got the recognition I deserve. I'm not sure I deserve it. I don't know if anyone deserves going viral, quote, quote. Listen, I know that I didn't actually go viral compared to some other things on the internet. But for me, big deal. One of my videos last week ended up getting 3 million views on Facebook. Too bad it wasn't YouTube and I'm not monetized and... I don't suddenly, yeah, because that's how YouTube life works. All you have to do is go viral and then you got it made. No, that's not how it works, everyone. Woo! And also, <laughs> I, I don't mean to sound like I'm complaining because that would like be horrible. So thank you for all of you that viewed. Thank you for all of you who are new here. And think of, uh, yeah, like all of you who stuck around and were actually smart enough to see that like, I'm just like a person putting on my costume pieces. I, I'm not some kind of... I don't even know what people thought I was. That was the weirdest thing about having this influx of people who maybe don't know what Renaissance festivals are. Maybe all they know of corsets is what they've mother-loving seen in movies, you know, where it's like, huh, Jack Sparrow had to cut off um, Elizabeth Swan's uh, corset because she was like, ladies in London must have learned to not breathe. Everyone always misquotes that. And I've heard that at so many Renaissance festivals. If you want to piss me off real good, just quote that movie, please. I dare you. Anyhow, so, so getting the, the view of the public at large and getting their first reactions, because, you know, that's what you have to understand on social media. Is this is just people's pure gut instinct reaction. Nobody stops to think like, oh, this lady might just be like a normal person you know, with kids and a job, and she might just be nice. But instead, <laughs> the one that I saw the most was, and it seemed to be from, like, what looked to be, like, more of an older generation, but they were like, this lady is so stupid. Doesn't she know that corsets make it so you can't breathe and you rearrange your organs? Holy crap! You, you got, like... You actually think that I would be able to sell an item that would rearrange people? Because P.S. If you get to the point where your actual <laughs> organs are rearranged, that means you've been wearing one of these for a lifetime. And P.S. These things that I make are nothing like the ones in the historical past. If you've ever felt a piece of whale bone, which is actually the gums of whales, it's really flexible. And I think everything that we think we know about corsets and the past and ladies in London must have learned not to breathe. I think it's all BS. Okay, so back to the actual piece that I'm putting on. I loved this one. I was really excited about this one. To me, this looks like bark or something. Like, I just love, love, love that look. This would have been 129. This is a Torian corset. They tend to sit a little bit lower down on the hips. Like, here's my hip bone right there. And that's how far it comes down. So yeah, I love the lower back support that it gives. It just feels incredible. So in this mystery grab bag example, this is not guaranteed everyone. This one comes with a really, really neat piece. I think these are awesome to wear in real life as well as, you know, your fake life, your corset life, your wow, rearranging organs, wow. Anyway, so it was really fun to see myself called stupid. Um, it was interesting because, like, in this, like, viral video, <laughs> which was really just me lacing on a corset, um, and who knows how Facebook algorithms work. What the what? <laughs> People, and I shouldn't have read the comments. My husband told me not to. He was like, Michelle, no, 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 don't, don't do this. You take everything personally. And I was like, no, but what if people are asking pertinent questions? Guess what? If you really wanted to know what my website was, you could click on 
damsel in distress, the person who posted the comment, and you could go to our Facebook page and see tons and tons of information there, including our website. So if you were serious, that's what you'd do. Anywho, um, I loved seeing comments from guys who were like, oh, this is so stupid, why doesn't she just lose weight? Well, okay, that's fair. Why don't I? Yeah, you know, I've been thinking about how you shamed me, and I think that I'm going to try to change my whole entire life to please you, uh, the one person on the internet that sounds like you're probably not going to really connect with me on a personal level. I think that your shame and yelling is really working, and I've looked deep inside myself and saw where you were right and I was wrong. And I want you to know that starting today, I am going to just lose weight. Oh, and it was loose weight. <laughs> um, loose weight, just for you, the guy on the internet, you know? Because you probably really meant that and you weren't just attacking me because I'm a lady with a big personality and that's threatening. That sounds mean. Do you know what? I don't want to be mean. That guy was just reacting. We're all just reacting. We're all just people. We all say stupid BS. Nobody thinks you're a bully, but you probably have been a bully in your life. You probably have. I know it's a hard pill to swallow. Anyway, so here's those two pieces. I really like these. This piece actually has big, ginormous, like... Cell phone pockets, slash tampon packets, uh, pockets, <laughs> slash you could put whatever you want in here. Your little secrets. You could put your shame in here. Take it away from your brain, put it in here, and then don't put it in the trash. So, let me go on to another video. And please watch these videos so you actually have a good idea of what to expect, how it looks to lace them on, and all that good stuff.